Is the grizzly reaper mowing? Yes! The danger must be growing, for the rowers keep on rowing, and they're certainly not showing any signs that they are slowing! Is that, is that real? 
look, we've got a health problem in this country, and I'm not saying it's the cause, but National Donut Day isn't gonna help. <laughs> With Donald Trump sitting in his office like, I've got a problem, huge problem, huge. People don't like me, I'm unpopular. People don't like me, I need to think of something. I've got a plan, my friends all say it's the best plan. I told them the plan, it's the best plan. <laughs> National Donut Day, everyone loves donuts. We do National Donut Day, I become a hero. <laughs> <laughs> But let's be honest, it probably wasn't Trump because if a president did a national donut day, it was probably Obama because he loved everyone and not just the white non-prisoners of war. <laughs> I'm afraid of war. I am. Uh, more specifically, I'm afraid of the military and like more specifically uh, like drill sergeants. They kind of freak me out because I don't want someone yelling in my face because I didn't make the bed properly in the morning. Just not something I want to be a part of. Like, you ever hear people from the military talk about, like, yeah, we've got 10 minutes to wake up, get dressed, take a shower, eat food, probably not in that order. And uh, all of that in 10 minutes. I'm always like, mm, no thanks. I don't need to be a part of that. If I ever get into the military, guarantee it's by draft. It's not going to be out of my own choosing. And no disrespect to people in the military. I applaud you for being part of it. I respect you for doing something that I would never want to do. And so to me, that's actually kind of amazing that you're able to put yourself out like that. Uh, just not for me, though. You know, they're going to be like, drop and give me 50. I'm like, mm, no thanks. <laughs> I don't need to do that. And uh, what I'm scared of is like when a drill sergeant yells at me, which, let's be honest, if I was in the military, would happen probably all the time. Uh, I have the same where when people yell at me, I laugh. And uh, that's not good. Like, you laughing at me? I'll give you something to laugh about. I'm like, oh, sweet, are we watching Tommy Boy later? <laughs> I get too excited about that, man. Uh, no, I do, I do have a real fear. I do, I, being honest here, I do have a real fear. Like, pain in my stomach, stay awake at night. Fear. I'm afraid I'll fall in love. I'm afraid that I'm going to meet someone. And I'll be interested. We'll shed this layer of defense from each other and get to know each other and hope that our vulnerability, when it shows, will support each other. We will. We'll, we'll fall in love. We'll get married. Move to a house or a yard. Have neighbors. Cheesy stuff, you know. And uh, we'll just have to have a family. Little baby Tansy walking around. She'll be pregnant. And uh, eight months in to so pregnancy, we'll lay down together and realize this is one of the last moments that we're going to have together, <laughs> just us. Or, I don't have that funny part yet. <laughs> <laughs> After this, our lives are never going to be the same. And we're terrified and excited, hopeful, all the mixed emotions and loved ones. She'll turn to me. Right now, we're actually in kind of an 80s, 90s mix of fashion. 
But the next time we go to the 50s, how about we skip the racism, the measles, and the mumps, huh? What a fun word mumps is to say, by the way. Mumps. That's really fun. Mumps. It's like some old live action Disney villain. Mumps. You gotta warm up into it. Mumps. Can't you see some like 1950s animated guy? Measles and bumps are like bank robbers. You know, and they're like bosses like, ah, hey, it's the coppers. Measles, bumps, get the bags, we gotta go. One of the office runs in like, there he is. There's a blotchy skinned guy and a big head. I'm like, oh, that's measles and bumps, all right. Which means the boss can't be too far. We'll get you soon enough, scarlet fever. I'm sorry, thank you very much.